Hey, this is Gary Gomez. I'm an architecture and real estate photographer based in Atlanta, Georgia, and I was just a speaker last month at the 2020 PFRE virtual conference. Well, I was talking about uh, efficiency, like an efficient workflow for real estate photography, which is the workflow that I teach at masteringrealestatephotography.com. And one of the things I talked about spawned a lot of questions and a lot of comments. Um, I have this little efficiency hack. It's nothing that I invented. It's just right there for us. But uh, a lot of people were asking questions about it, so I thought I'd make this little video about it. So if you are merging your photos in Photoshop, you're very accustomed to uh, being in Lightroom and then selecting your layers and going to edit in open as layers in Photoshop. And this menu sequence is a little bit uh, tedious, I guess, a little cumbersome. And if you are a Windows user, you're in luck. There's already a keyboard shortcut for you. It is Alt P E O O, and or I believe that's what it is anyway. But if you're a Mac user like me, we don't have any keyboard shortcuts like that, unfortunately. But you can make your own right in the system preferences on your Mac. So that's what I want to show you today. If you open up system preferences and you click on keyboard settings, then the shortcuts tab and along the left you click on App Shortcuts. You'll see that I have a shortcut for Lightroom that does the command open as layers in Photoshop and it's assigned to Command L as the keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna show you how to create this and for starters we'll just delete it right here and then hit the plus icon to add a new one. And the first thing you do is you select Lightroom from the application drop down menu. And I have it right here at the top but it wasn't there to begin with the first time I did it. I had to go all the way down to the bottom and select other and then go into my applications folder and find it right in there. And then for the menu title, this is the part that's critical. You have to have this match exactly like the menu title in the application. So really quick, we'll show you. Uh, if you highlight both of the layers, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop, you'll notice the capitalization and the ellipsis at the end, the three dots. We need to write it exactly like that in System Preferences. So let's go back there and do that. Open as layers in Photoshop, dot, dot, dot. And then we do Command L, or that's what I do anyway. You can choose any keyboard shortcut you want, uh, but put in your keyboard shortcut right here in this field and then click Add. And that's it, you're done. Uh, but there is one more thing that I do that is a really great feature of this Logitech mouse that I use. It's the MX Master. I love this mouse because it's got a lot of extra macro buttons on it that you can assign to do different things and you can even assign them to app specific uh, functions. So if I go to the applications menu up here and I choose Lightroom Classic, you will notice that I have this button here assigned to my keystroke assignment of Command L when I'm in Lightroom. And then one step further than that, in Photoshop, I have that exact same button mapped to do Shift F5, which is the command I use to play my action for my real estate photography workflow that I teach. So I'm going to show you how all of this comes together really quickly. So we take the two raw files from Lightroom, and instead of going through the menu system, I just hit that button on the mouse, and it opens it immediately in Photoshop. And now in Photoshop, once those layers load, I can just press that button again, and immediately I'm ready to start brushing. There we go. And then Command S, Command W, and Command Tab, and that takes me back into Lightroom. Finishing touches preset, and then adjust my lines, maybe give it a little crop. And there we go five stars, and then I'll just move on to the next one. These are ready to go into Photoshop, so I just select them, press the button on the mouse, and then once they finish loading in Photoshop, press the button one more time and just start brushing. There we go, Command S, W, and Tab. Finishing touches preset, applied, five stars, adjust the verticals, and one more just for good measure. Pretty quick, when you start getting these little shortcuts working for you, you 
spend pretty much no time doing all the tedious stuff and you just get to do the fun stuff. Or at least I think this is fun. Um, but this is the workflow and it's as simple as that when you use these uh, keyboard shortcuts. And then uh, just really quickly, I have a tutorial available at MasteringRealEstatePhotography.com and in a couple of days I'm about to officially launch Mastering Twilight Photography. It's been available for pre-order uh, for about a month now and uh, now it's all finished up and it's going to be available for download on Wednesday, December 23rd and we basically show you start to finish how to create Twilight photos and how to do all your planning to get it right and then I had to deal with this disgusting muddy mess in the driveway so you get to watch me use frequency separation to clean up this horrible mess and uh, like I said that's coming out this Wednesday officially but it's still available for pre-order at a discounted price of $79 and it goes up to $99 on Wednesday so uh, if you're interested in that please check it out you can see that at masteringtwilightphotography.com and uh, also masteringrealestatephotography.com this is my full-length video course five hours long that shows the entire workflow that you just watched me go through really quickly in these last few edits um, but that's it I hope you found this keyboard shortcut helpful and that it helps your workflow become a little bit quicker and more efficient. That's it for now. Thanks guys. Bye.